be as far from us in the room as you can. It gives us enough room. Uh, so, can you everybody say hi to Dave? Hi, Dave. Dave. Hello, Dave. Dave. Another, uh, Dave. answer session for you. And uh, so, <clears throat> Dave's uh, setup position was here. If I go much lower to this, and since you have, can you pull these a little bit? You can just fake it with your left hand. Yeah, that's good. I'll, when we're here and he's in this position, uh, the main real concern for me is that elbow becoming energized to him doing something conscious and purposeful, or there's even a mistake, you know, if he starts to push his wrist away, push it away. Yeah, but it, mistakenly you bump me. Like, it, you know, that even a mistaken elbow is an elbow, right? So um, that's my main concern. And of course, I'm not happy doing this in a push hands to, to sort of get out of that. Um, so uh, to answer Dave's question was, can we lift it or pull it? And uh, what are the issues with that? So uh, one of his questions was about this tendon here. And since we happen to know Garrett's only sore on the inside tendon, we can work the outside one. So um, to answer that question, yes. What I would do with this is actually in, let him engage with the left hand. Let's say this elbow does something. I can certainly find control given our standing position. So we'll assume he hasn't done it or I've already controlled him. I'm gonna let him engage with that so that I can use my elbow. If he engages low, I can use my elbow. So I know where it is, I feel it, I find it. So it doesn't really matter to me, but I'm not gonna just start doing stuff and then, right, right. Forget about what's so going on I'm also not gonna chase that and get myself in more of an awkward position. I'm aware of that. I might kind of pong a little so I'm more likely to find them. And I'm not gonna do this with my eyes because with your left hand, lose your contact. Mm -mm, start over, mm -hmm. lose contact, yep. and then sneak into my face. Like, I, you know, I don't know if that's coming. So I'm going to keep probably my eyes here so I can see what I'm doing, but more importantly that. And I'm going to palm a little bit so that I'm keeping the space I own and I'm more likely to find you physically. So now whatever you do with that, I'm going to guide that and hopefully trap them or you know create another problem i don't know what exactly that happens but he does that whatever he does here and that's a little awkward but i'll take it so what i'm going to do here is hook the fingers don't shift the weight endure the pain for dave <laughs> i'm going to hook the fingers so that my energy is distantly moving to the back of the patella and in this position you're going to probably fall mm -hmm. by the way i'm pulling what I don't want to do is pull upward. I just want to bring his weight to the ball of the foot. And then I can drive this energy down. Which puts me in brush knee. So, let's come away. Just I don't want you grabbing a sword. So, I mean, <laughs> so, so we're here. My eyes are around here. Soft focus, Tai Chi focus. I'm mostly concerned with that, but I'm trying to, I'm not gonna let him know I'm concerned with it. I'm gonna try and let him do what he wants to do. Assuming I've solved this, you know, maybe he tried it and he feels I'm aware of him, or I can feel he hasn't thought of it because he feels trapped, you know, either way. So I feel and see his left. And for our purposes, we'll just, since you pick over, we'll do over. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna trap that or at least change its vector. Hook my fingers so my energy is distally moving on the inside of this ligamental structure to the back of the patella, which is to say I'm driving his energy here. And then I'm driving this downward, not down and away, because that'll make me lean more here. So we'll do that as one smooth movement. Here. Good. So in this position, I should be able to control where that is and you know, our standard Tai Chi finish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. So let's have you guys try that. Yeah. Right on me. There's enough memory, I think. That's a whole different thing. You got it. And that does work. Your fingers on the right side.
this spot. Okay. So I'm not pinned so yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not pinned yet. Yeah. So we gotta be in a neutral position first, so that I can see yeah. not gonna get that yeah. aspect. <coughs> Right, because when I move here, when I start to like... back of his knees already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a little bit so, of red. Don't, don't energize this. Relax for a second. So, all right, so, here. Relax, relax, relax. If you start down. wrestling with that, he's going right. to beat and choke Good. and pull now, his gun. Like, push so you want push this push push to push have a swirl. Right. Right, so you want so to watch. So we'll assume you just sort of have to go mainly. through it every time. So that you anything that happens, he either tried it and you showed him that's not a good so idea, right. or he and didn't figure out he should try it. So we just start here, this. Okay. right? But so I think he was going push, over. If I go through, so you, you have that sort of bummed out kind of feeling. So you want to do it? You have this. You got an awesome trap on the right, but just you know where he is and his vectors change. So now, now you got the hook down. Hook like leverage and drive style. through. So that this is the yeah, 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 yeah. Right around, yeah. just so we're clear. Yeah. Yeah. And you're, I think so you you're drawing his knee kind of up, down with but the elbow straight too. across, right. and then energy down so. here. <clears throat> Not down in the wet. Okay. So it's on um, broccoli, right? Um, yeah, I want to do it. You wasn't okay. looking up, that's nice for sure. Eyes are, going, the eyes are going diagonally that way. Sort of here. Okay. That way you can take this in peripherally yeah. and where you're headed. This is my problem here, Steve. So he goes down. Go ahead. <coughs> so he's pinning me right now with, I, like he's pinning. Sure, yes. Yeah, it's it's just, just this. Normal, so this is Dave's credit. setup was this. That. It feels right. like oh, no, it your hand. That was his setup. Right. You have a breath. Okay. Okay. That's so it. Gonna, no, no, no. There's just a little Now little when this comes in, that's... So you can offline him. It would be nice if you pinned him a little. You know, do, don't get into a big old technique fight. You just want to bait this and then deal with it. But that's not really what you want. You want <laughs> this. So I've got it lined up here. Right. Cool. Correct. Well, that's not to say that he couldn't have come over the top and this wouldn't work. It's just the setup we had, which is that you chose to do. Is what we're right. working on. Very close. Yeah. So this was. Do it again. So you were just were you just yeah. getting the the that, that cord yeah, yeah. and then the energy to your way to this? overhead. So that. Um, that feels a little bit grabbing. On the side of that. Yeah, yeah. That feels on the outside of the tendon. Here. Yeah. So right in there. Here. And then the fingertips. Not fingerprints, but fingertips right to the back of his knee. So if I did it on you. Can you strike me with your. Can you strike me with your elbow right now? Yeah, right? I don't want that. So, okay, we're going to shut. So, you want to go back to the knee. And come with the. Nope, nope, this is the cord. That's in the back of the knee. Yep. Uh, this came to like oh, that. So, we just pull it back more. And now you have a hip. So, when you pull that knee forward, pull it straight. Nice. Yeah. Workshop of just different things that he did there. But the concept is that I'm here, I can't just start wrestling his knee in a push hand situation. That's not my recommendation. I mean, somebody could shoot in on you in this position. It, it is doable, but it's not my recommendation. It doesn't really suit the sort of push hands idea of sensitivity. So I do want to wait for that or bait for that, depending on you know if he's doing it or not. And of course, he could have done a million things with that, in which case how I did this would be different. If he did like an uppercut to my kidney, right, let's do it again, I might have decided to catch both and then his shoulder doing that same path, that's the same type of throw, same feel, mm -hmm. and I'm just in shoulder strike. So the concept is that I'm going to wait for or bait for the, the arm that I haven't considered or come into contact with. And then I'm going to deal with it. Like we're all martial artists, deal with it. You know, revector it, get out of the way, 
get into a sense of I know where it is. I can influence it. I can see when it changes what it's doing. Slightly change what your left hand was doing. It was doing an elbow, change what it's doing. Like spear my eyes or something. Like, okay, I could feel that. So I opted for something else, like needle at sea bottom. Right? What was that called? Needle at sea bottom. So this is the setup. So another way to do this from this setup <coughs> is to solve this by rotating here. Okay, that's going to tend to bring his weight forward and even straighten this knee. I don't want to do it so much that it really straightens and his heel comes up. I want his weight forward. And everybody kind of recognizes this, this position. If you're practicing with long sleeves, it's a little more likely you slip. So practice it short sleeve. If I did it on you, I can make it work long sleeve. Never you worry. But we'll practice it this way. You recognize the hold. So we're here. And what I'm going to do is not do this here. Feel how I'm helping your left, throw your left when it, when it seems like a good time to throw it, right? Well, what I'm going to do is bring it here, throw the left when it seems like a good time to, it never it seems. Does, it does. So, is that kind of, now I'm not going to be stupid enough to kind of, you know, be here, right? But I might have done this. <laughs> good. So, we're it's here. Your head. We're here. And this. Now, in doing that, I could have the same thing with the knee and take them down and find a bunch of other standard Tai Chi finishes. <laughs> but sometimes the C lot slips through. Okay, so one, I don't want to. <laughs> Do that, so I need to be aware of this. That's why I'm doing it. I'm not bringing it away. I'm trying to turn his chest to the, his left. I also don't want to get this behind me. It feels like a good position in terms of where he is related to me, but I'm losing control back here. So I kind of want this like a shield. Right? So if he throws a left punch, it kind of feels like that. It just happens to be that the shield is partly him. <laughs> ah, that's clever. So from this, I can also feel when it's coming because the shield's partly him. Yeah. If I'm holding an actual shield, I have to see when it's coming to be sure of it, right? Okay, so <clears throat> here. So I can achieve his weight forward. I could move his weight around, but for this purpose, I want it forward. And what I'm going to do now is pull the knee. So his knee is, what is this knee doing? If this is Tai Chi class, is that good or is that good? So I'm doing the reverse of what I want somebody doing in Tai Chi, which is knee past the ball of the foot. And of course I can take a little bit of that weight off as I do it. So, ready? Here? You ready for the fun? Sure. Two. Again, here, one, so this drawn, and then strike, and I could always keep his balance where I want, I could help throw him if I have this, but if we do that sort of fast, let's say you start to do something with your left, pretty straightforward. Where is that strike going? Just above his knee? Well, it'll depend on the different heights. He'll be getting shorter as he goes forward. And depending on my height, like I can't really say, if he hit but one. step forward, just so they can see. I'm happy mid thigh to mid calf, and whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Your knee, you but it's knee. that. You got a lot more strength in moving his knee with your knee than your right. Fingers. And notice that I'm shifting so that this is actually <laughs> free. I'm not weighted here and doing this. I'm shifting, so you know it could have been something that looks like a kick. Just happen to keep my foot on the ground. That way, it just feels still like push hands. Got it? Mm -hmm. Let's do it from the other angle since the cameraman's there. So, set up here, Dave. This forward, 
Oh, don't reach this. That's weird. I mean, it's not a bad throw, but I'm opening your left. What I want is this. And then notice my weight as I pull. So I didn't do this with my left shoulder. I'm shifting. And now it's just anvil hammer. Good. Okay. Same sort of a situation. That's why I to call a cinch. <laughs> <laughs> so hip. <laughs> Do you want to come to a party with him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not going to fall for that again. <laughs> okay, so. So we have this idea, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do this, and it's just a little bit fun because what am I doing here? I'm just doing wave hands like clouds. I'm just doing fair lady works at shuttles. I'm not doing, I'm just, that's all I'm doing. Right? It's not done this way. It's not done this way. It's done sink, rise, rotate, relax. Right? Rise, rotate, relax. Rise. Rotate, relax, rise and relax, rise and rotate, relax and rotate, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> rise, rotate, relax, and it's happening. So, to give them Dave's setup, we'll assume I'm able to deal with that, or I do this before that, or as that's retracting, or whatever it is. <clears throat> so we're here, leading this same idea. Pulling rather than lifting. Okay, I'm going to shift my weight to the left as I did before. And drop my knee. And the position I'm in here is low punch. Okay, so this is the one you've come to love, come and come for bless. That's all I'm doing. So I'm leading you into this bend where I can put my weight on that gas rock here. But I didn't commit my weight so my partner's safe. You know, I didn't do this, which would be a cooler video. But if things go a little bit off, you get hurt. But on the street, I might. But it works beautifully. It hurts your knee, though, on a hard surface. It might. <laughs> But on the street, I might, I might drop that. <coughs> anyway, so here, leading this. So my weight's here. These two are floating. So I'm just in golden cock stands on one leg. So I'm aware of this knee and the elbow. So I could use the elbow to help me. I could bother him with the elbow, I could strike with the knee, I could lift with the knee, but what I want to do is just lead his knee past his foot, and then I'm shifting and dropping here. Similarly, from here, I can use this to move him back, as long as I don't move him back here and open the left, I can move him back more like Oh, fair lady, and then I can lift this, and what I would do is lift this and strike the instep on this anvil. Hmm. From here, I can do the same sort of situation. See the move? Can you do that again? Same move. Here. Striking here and then coming back. This is just brush knee. Pause, you okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just in brush knee. But I'm going to use this to bring him down. Hmm. Interesting. Good. And of course, when I brought him down, come back up. There you go. When I brought him down, I'm just in low punch, which of course it might very well you know, do something along those lines. Okay. <clears throat>